Hi, I'm Connie. In his Sermon on the Mount, Jesus continues to build upon and expand Old Covenant laws, revealing how Christians are to respond to an unsaved and unbelieving world. Of the Mosaic laws, an eye for an eye and a tooth for a tooth, and love your neighbor and hate your enemy, Jesus commands different responses and resolutions to offenses. Jesus didn't roll out another set of endless requirements that we are unable to keep that doom us to failure. His commands of non-resistance, unlimited service, impartiality, and Christian love are necessary if we are to participate in God's divine standard of life. He said, be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Are you prepared to not resist an evil person, to not retaliate or seek revenge when you are wronged? Are you prepared to love your enemies, to be generous to them, even to pray for them? Human nature seems miserably drawn to pagan responses where partiality lines are drawn between people, and hostility, hostility revenge, litigation, retaliation, and strife abound. We've but to turn on the news and watch enemies come out of the woodwork against any leader who lives for Christ. A professor of mine asked students to write a leadership characteristic on a whiteboard. I added, servant leader. The professor almost broke the marker crossing it out. We're not going there, she said. When we align with Jesus, we can expect opposition. Jesus' teachings prepare us, his disciples, to be in the crosshairs of those who oppose him. His enemies are our enemies. However, our Christ-like responses become a witness of the gospel in an undeniable way. How then can we remember all Jesus commands and prepare to respond in the right way? We can't pull it off in our own strength. Galatians 5.22 says, But the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. There is no law against these things. Jesus assures us in the Gospel of John, all this I have spoken while still with you, but the Advocate, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, will teach you all things and will remind you of everything I've said to you. Through the power of the Holy Spirit, we can show others a new way of living. Disciples of Jesus are called to live out the gospel with all our neighbors, yes, even our enemies. Hey, thank you for engaging with this episode of Anchored. Are you part of Bethel Church and interested in being a host for this podcast? We know that God speaks to each one of us. We want to faithfully grow the people who contribute and share their insights through this podcast. If you are interested in learning more about this opportunity, please email video at Bethel.ch.